This video reviews one method for solving equations in which we have two fractions equal to an integer where the fractions contain x terms as part of the denominator. So here's the method. I'll write out the question again, putting brackets around the bottom of the fractions and I'll space the fractions out like so. And 2 is the same as 2 over 1. Right then, now the method here is to get the bottoms of the fractions to be the same. Now this has got an x plus 1 there, so if I put an x plus 1 under this fraction, below and on top of the fraction, I've not actually changed the fraction. It's an equivalent fraction. If I put the x plus 2 over here, on the bottom and the top, these two fractions now share the same denominator. I'll now do the same with the integer, so x plus 1, x plus 2, and x plus 1, and x plus 2. So these fractions haven't changed. However, they now all share the same denominator. So I can now cancel it off, like so. And this then leaves me with an equation as follows. 5x plus 1 plus 4x plus 2 equals 2 lots of x plus 1 times x plus 2. Now to solve an equation like this, I now need to expand the brackets. So 5x plus 5 from that bracket plus 4x plus 8 equals. Now 2 bracket x plus 1 x plus 2. If I expand this bracket first, just to the side I get x squared plus 1x plus 2x is 3x plus 1 times 2 is 2. So if I then times it by 2, I get equal to 2x squared, 2 times 3 is 6x, and 2 times 2 is 4. So this becomes a quadratic equation, which I want to equal 0. So I've got a 2x squared, I've got a 5x and a 4x is 9x. So I'll take away 9x from both sides. 6x take 9x is minus 3x. 5 plus 8 is 13. I'll take away 13. 4 take away 13 is minus 9. Then to solve this equation, I'll try and factorise it. So 2x squared, I need a 2x and an x, and to get a minus 9 is probably a plus 3 and a minus 3. 3 times minus 3 is minus 9. And if I put the plus 3 here and the minus 3 here, again, 3 times minus 3 is minus 9, but 3x, take away 6x is minus 3x. So therefore, I have factorised the expression above. So, to get the solutions, I need to solve where these two brackets equal 0. Well, option 1 is quite obvious. x minus 3 equals 0, where x equals plus 3. Then for the second solution, I solve where 2x plus 3 equals 0. So therefore, x equals minus 3 divided by the 2, or minus 1.5. So the two solutions are x equals minus 3, or x equals minus 3 over 2, which is minus 1.5.